Hi, welcome to DP Animations. So today we are going to be taking a look at uh, the geometry options in After Effects. So we are going to create just a simple 3D test animation, okay? So let me open After Effects. All right, so let me create a new composition, custom 1920 by 1080, okay? Then come to 3D renderer. You click there, then select Cinema 4D. Instead of Classic 3D, select Cinema 4D, then name it Test. Mind you, I'm using After Effects 2020. So let me type in something here, okay? So let me select the Test 2, go to the Tools menu and select the Test 2, then click inside and type something like Vote. Let me enter wisely. Okay. So I have this. Let me position it in the middle here. Let me come to the attributes here, character attributes here, and adjust it. Okay. Okay. Let me just pick a good font for this. Um, a good font to use. Let me see Franklin Heavy. Okay, so this is okay. All right. So let me scale it up. All right. Let me select the top one, then scale that one alone, increase the size. So this is okay. So I'm going to use this test for the animation, okay? So now that you have your test in your workspace, make it 3D. So let's come here. Let me click on the toggle switches here, then make it 3D here. After that, click on the cascading arrow, then select here geometry options. Is here. So we are going to use the extrusion depth and the bevel depth. Okay. So the bevel style, let's select convex. Then the bevel depth, let's go 10. And the extrusion depth, let's go something like 400 or 300. 300. Okay. So after that, come to animate and select side, then color, then select RGB. Okay. So let's turn down the color a bit. Let's turn down the red a bit. Now come to animate again, then select bevel, color, RGB. All right. So the bevel color, let's change that to also to red, the same red. All right. So this is okay. All right. So when you hit rotation on transform, while rotation, this is how your test look. It gives you that 3D depth. And if you are to apply light on it, you will see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's leave it like this for now. Now let's create another composition, a 1920 by 1080. Let's name it BG as background or background, okay? All right. So we are creating a background for it here, all right? So let's insert in a new solid layer. Let me just use white. Then come to effects and presets and apply wave effect, wave. So here's it, wave world, okay? After applying the wave world, come to the effect control on the wave world and change from wireframe to height map. Okay, so you have something like this. You see that? So you have this. All right, so let's leave it like this and insert in another solid layer. Let's insert in new solid layer. Give it this one a gray color. Okay, this is okay. A gray color is okay. Now, come to effects again and type CC thread. CC threads. Then apply it. You see that? Then come to its effects control. Then it says here width and height. So the width, let's go something like 5.5 five, and the height to 5. Let me see the details. So you have something like this. Let's see.
Okay, let's leave it at 10, 10 for now. Okay. I just want to see the clock details in it. All right. So this is okay. All right. So from here, let's insert in another solid layer. New solid layer. And this one, let's go for a red color. Dark red. Okay. Somewhere here is okay. Then click OK. All right. So from here, click on the toggle switches and come to the blend mode. It says here normal on the red solid layer. Then change from normal to something like overlay. So you have something like this. So this will be our background. Okay. All right. So now let's come to the test. Let's do just a simple animation here, okay? So hit P on position. Then let me bring let me bring the test towards us a bit. Okay. Then set a key on position. Then move the timeline backwards. Then zoom in towards us till the test disappears. Okay. So it disappears. Then select the two keys. Then easy ease them. Okay. So it will come in the land there slowly, then it will move in away gradually. See that? So let's see what we have. See? It comes in, then it's going slowly. Okay. So you can decide to set a bit of rotation within here. Okay. So from here. You set a Y rotation key here. Then something like the six seconds, you give it a bit of rotation here. See that? Okay. So let me select the two keys then. Easy ease them. After that, right click on the test, then select pre-compose. Okay, then move all attributes, then click OK. Okay. So from here, Click and drag the background underneath it. All right? Then right click on the test composition. Then come to layout star. Then select stroke. Okay. Then change the stroke color to white. So you have something like this. See? You see? See that? See? I think the one that I show, I reduce the height of the stage a bit. So let me see the composition, then reduce the heights. So I have something like this. You see? Simple. All right, guys. So this is it for our 3D text geometry animation. Okay. See you next time.